Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here. Welcome back to XCOM. Couple of quick updates for you before we get going. The Sky Ranger design contest closed the other day. And in yesterday's video, you will have seen a vote. So I have not seen the outcome of that vote yet. But soon enough, within the next couple of episodes, we will have a finalized design. If you haven't voted, please go back to episode 10 and place your vote on your Sky Ranger preference. Uh, another thing that has come to light, uh, you've noticed we haven't had the Chosen for a while. So this prompted the creator of CI, the Covert Infiltration Overhaul, to dig into some of the code and identify a, a, a long-standing bug that happens in very certain situations that, of course, we have found ourselves in. And basically, I'll put it on the screen here for those that might be interested. Uh, but there was a certain circumstance where Chosen would not spawn correctly, mainly related to number of assault missions that were happening. Uh, we, for whatever reason, this campaign have just had a lot more assaults than infiltrations, so there's been this kind of niche situation that's occurred. Uh, Covert Infiltration has been updated, and we should see the Chosen very soon. I imagine we won't see it on this mission, although I don't know. This mission was already generated, so we'll see. But uh, now, who knows? He should be back in action, and we should find him very soon. We did a lot of testing to figure out what it was. Uh, big shout out to Zymanic Zy for uh, getting that fixed very quickly. Uh, let's get going here. We're taking out Silencer, Iggy, Pool Mother, Takeout, Stigs, and Reactor 4. It's a Horde mission, and I maybe the Chosen. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but we'll see. Now, today, we will get back to the logs very soon. There's been a lot of kind of other activities happening. But I've got something special for you. Sports Center styled stats update provided by Wolfson. XCOM apparently did not use Advent Prime shipping for their new rank insignia, as Rebecca, Ghislaine, and Trell, Jackson, Stiggs, Hopper, and Sarah, Bumblebee, Triplet became the first rookies ever to survive a regular mission without being promoted. Elsa Dynamite Koenig is now the fastest soldier ever to reach 30 kills, doing so in Episode 8. Two episodes faster than War of the Chosen Season 1's Elena Outrider Dragonova. Meanwhile, Advent is under an extreme heat warning, as Adrian Weathergirl Wong provides us with perhaps the hottest ever debut for a new class, en route to the number two spot for both kills and damage. Zara Poolmother Norlin gives her a run for her money though, setting the early single mission marks with 19 kills and 95 damage on episode 8. Our last historical milestone is unfortunately the saddest, as this campaign becomes the fastest ever to reach four soldier deaths, and that includes Vanilla Season 5, where two soldiers died on Gatecrasher. Unfortunately, that number is now 5 with the recent ambush where we lost Nina Sovereign Verducci. R.I.P. Soldiers, your contributions will not be forgotten. And that concludes our stats update. Let's get rockin' and rollin' in Battled Mountain. We're looking to do these stats updates every 10 episodes or so. Uh, this was with information up to episode 9. Uh, Wilson did not have the knowledge of the recent ambush. Which is why I added it at the end. Not far from your position, and the VIP is using a remote turret to hold off the lost. We only okay. have one clear access point to the area, so get to the target's location and escort them back to the entry point for extraction. Justin Espino and Double Z. They're out there, all right. After you secure the expedition, you'll have to return to our original entry point for extraction. Don't get overrun. Keep the path back to Firebrand clear. You say that like we have the choice. Don't get overrun. Reminder. Reminder. Don't get overrun. Thanks, over as always. Okay, we got action on the left and action on the right. Howlers, regular lost. Bring them in. Okay. Uh, the Howler does need to die pretty much immediately. Any shots we can take here will be beneficial. Uh, we did dash a couple, unfortunately, but we might be able to 
work with this still. I'm thinking this is probably okay. Looks like there might be something else down here. Let's go, Iggy. Nice start. Very nice. Wouldn't have expected it any other way, to be honest. Pool Mother as well, with a pretty amazing stat line this season. Uh, these guys, these regular lost, they're not going to be able to get to us, so I'm okay if we flop over here. Pool Mother nails one. Pool Mother does not nail two. No can do. Oh, yeah. No, no can do. I know. I'm, I know. I'm pressing you pretty hard there. Uh, I should probably experiment a little bit more with our combat engineers using rifles instead of cannons just to up their mobility. But I like having that damage output right now, especially when we're... Jeez. Especially when we're light on Marines. Having those cannons is... Uh, just a good feeling. Okay. Silencer. The sniper shotgun. Classic. Love that. You see that one? Scanning. I stand ready. Oh, these guys were a little closer than I thought, actually. So, uh, as expected, no chosen spawning here. That makes sense because the mission was already generated. What I mean by that is usually the enemies are predetermined when the mission is created. Specifically, uh, big enemies like the Chosen and a few other scenarios. Okay. How do we want to handle this? I think just a little reload action. We could probably take out this guy. Maybe the, uh, any other little lower health individuals like this small child on the rooftop. As dark as that sounds. Uh, we'll keep him. We'll keep him in case we need to do any cleanup there. No problem, boss. We got that lost inside here. So we're dealing a flat four if these land. There you go. Love it. You know that was good. We might save that for a cleanup as well. Oh, we got the big five there. Potentially, Silencer can clean that up, but we also have the guy inside. If we take this... Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. I'm expecting this mission to go pretty cleanly. Um, something will have to go very wrong for it not to. Uh, let's get a reload here. Reload here. Reload on takeout. Okay, I'll go. Affirmative, covering now. Uh, we'll take the reload and silencer as well. Okay. We gotta beeline this now. We haven't seen too many dashers. Which I'm grateful for. I'm gonna forward go... <laughs> I'm gonna forward go. I'm gonna dash forward a little bit further than usual here, but it seems like that's okay. Let's put Hopper out here, see if we can draw anything. We can. Got a big brute and a really hip grandma. Brute, I don't think can get to us from there, which is fine by me. Good to go. Could overwatch Iggy there. I don't think that's too bad. We'll go up top. Only two turns until the 
ammo is out, but we're not going to get there right when it runs out for sure. There's no way. Nice shooting. Nice shooting. They're almost out of ammo for the turret, Commander. We have to get moving. God, they're making it look a little too easy, if you ask me. I need two stigs. There you go, big boy. Okay. There were a couple over there. Oh, we actually... Oh, there's... Wait, what? That's a weird place for a gate to be. Presumably, we can't get over that. Affirmative. I'm going to dangle Stigs. Looks fine. So, I guess we're just going to dangle everyone. I think what I might do is keep Iggy up top here. And we'll eventually... We'll kind of, like, have a line of, of people to facilitate this escape. We have to bring them all the way back. I suppose Silencer and Stigs could stay back here as wanting to be a little bit closer. Keep farming. Jeez. Iggy's having a super time right now. What a beast. Now, I could grapple up and get a little closer. That's going to trigger another group. Probably okay. We still haven't had the opportunity to grapple loot with her. He's, oh, he just whiffed that big time. I got nothing. Okay. Run and dry. I can handle that. Let's drop Stigs back here. 64. I mean, you know what? Maybe should have used the guaranteed. Never mind. That's fine. We do have that guaranteed shadow fall option. Uh, mobility wise, 11, 11, 11. Iggy, yes, does have crazy high mobility. Cool Mothers is not horrible. So I think we'll do next turn. Let's get an overwatch here. Actually, you can resupply reactor. God, I love this class, man. I can't... I just, I hope we can keep her safe because I'd really like to see where it goes long term. Holy smokes. That's a few. Looks like the cover was blown from that uh, door that we were referencing earlier. Oh, rare miss. Yeah, we have another entry point now. Okay, so Pool Mother. Let's do a little bit of this. The VIP is secure, Commander. 
If we can spare the manpower, we should try to bring the escort in as I've got a plan. Don't you worry. There's nothing keeping the lost from overrunning this area. They're already closing in. Holy hairdo. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, that's tempting. I will. Okay. So, clearly, we're looking at the flamethrower. <laughs> I mean, how could I not? Uh, there is this dasher I'm a little concerned about. I'm going to place this down. And I think I'm going to bring reactor back. Thing is, okay, I need to get this dasher. This is going to hit pretty much all of these. We'll have two dashers to kill. I don't think that's too bad. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot when this is active, I think any explosion triggers their timer. Whoops. That's probably not ideal. And we didn't hit the one right in front of us. Hmm. This just got a bit trickier. Not impossible. I can't get any closer with the grapple. We're gonna have to make do. Nice, nice. Now is not the time to be missing, as you might imagine. Sixty-nine. I jinxed it. <sighs> jinxed it. Absolutely, I did. Got dashers here. Okay, they can't reach us at least. Whatever you say. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know that was good. I mean, these guys are burning, so I don't think I have to worry about that. Anybody that's burning, I think we just leave. That gives me the stock kill. I don't think any of these need to be dealt with, really. Reactor will start pulling back. See if you can hit this one. I didn't doubt it. I didn't doubt it. I didn't doubt it. Let's see what you can do. I wouldn't mind having one Overwatch available. Mind you, these guys are going to trigger it anyways, I think? Well, maybe not. Nice. We should be able to, like, full dash now.
Nice shot. Okay. And it was a dasher. They, they shouldn't be able to attack us. Yeah, we're good. In position. Get back to the entry point for extraction before you get overrun. We're picking up more heat signatures than the sensors can keep up with. Uh, where is our evac? We have to go over this house. There's a guy with three here. The light has left Very nice. Soon to be out of ammunition. Another three. Beautiful. Give me a four. Oh, he gets it. Oh, my God. All right. A little too excited, I guess. Oof. God. I mean, that... That pistol aim will eventually get better. Oh, the grays? <laughs> okay. Oh my, this is, this is the luckiest lost in the history of lost. If we don't hit this, then someone's getting whacked. Okay. Takeout's always good for a save. Love that. I'm trusting you here. Go Espino. Wait, what's that showing me? Again, we could just full dash here, but I'm going to take out the dashers in front of us, hopefully. Um, somebody could reliably do five. Three to six. Not that amazing. Probably could have blocked there. Okay, let's take a shot with the cannon here. Actually. We could even just lay this down. Let's use that if we end up getting swarmed here. Oh, he got the full damage. Holy smokes. Love this. So this little fire icon, this must be by design with these guys. It has to be. What's over there? No problem, boss. Seems doable. As you command. If you say so. Okay, I think we'll go on the full move next time. Mad dash.
Let's get you over here. Justin Espino, see you later. Thanks for joining. Not that you had a choice. Pushing towards the evac point. No matter what you do, you're never gonna make a dent in the lost. There's just too many coming in. I guess that'll be okay. We'll do. Moving out. Okay, we're going to evac everybody. Getting out of here. Except for one. Ending deployment. Cool mother. Nice save. We'll get her patched up and ready to redeploy into the field. And then you guessed it. <laughs> We're blasting. Boom. Whoa, so totally accurate. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, we're gone too. That did absolutely nothing. But he'll get a uh, parting gift award, I guess. Which also is nice. A pretty straightforward mission there, as we expected. Those are those are pretty nice to get for these recruits. Silencer, 24 damage, 5 for 8. Solo Slayer, Iggy, 59 damage, 16 for 20. Pool Mother with the rescue. Takeout, 3 for 5. Wi-Fi destruction, parting gift, 53 damage. Uh, Hopper, 7 for 9, getting pretty good on that pistol. And Reactor 4, 6 for 8, 23. And our new Zoe Double Z Zachariah is here. Happy to have you. I would like to assure the citizens of Africa that our peacekeepers will stop at nothing to prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. The elders have total faith in our ability to overcome. A lot of capes. Okay, two, but still. Take out. Interesting. I like this burnout. I mean, it's it's hard to justify taking these other ones. Um, Entrenched is pretty good. Smoke screen, I guess, is fine. But the way I look at this is we already have so many gadgets to use. Like, in a given mission, I've got a rocket. I've got a defensive mine. I have two... Flamethrower shots. That's four turns of actions right there. Depressive fire. I think I'm going to stick with burnout for now, but I'm curious to see, like, further gadget trees. Justin Espino, welcome. No Another tech specialist. The any day, Commander. Well done. With fantastic hair. Oh, league pitcher. That means she can throw really far. Um, I talked a bit yesterday, I think, about uh, some potential bonds. So if you guys are interested in coming up with some ideas for bonds. So Silencer could be mixed with or paired with Hopper, Boltos, or uh, Elsa. All good options. Very high compatibility here with uh, Stigs. But yeah, I don't know. It's, 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 I think mixing a Phalanx and an Assault, assault Infantry could be interesting if we utilize um, the cover of the phalanx a bit more with the assault infantry kind of running in to accomplish some other things. Uh, Boltos can be paired with Mikami, Bao, Lumos, or Cutter. We have Koenig. Can't look at that right now. Uh, only Iggy for Beardo. Weather Girl. Could be paired with Bumblebee or Trell. 
Takeout with Iggy. That's pretty much going to be it, I think. Red Dawn. Iggy. <laughs> Iggy can work with pretty much anybody. Yeah, Weather Girl there. We saw that. Okay. So anyways, that's where we're at. Zoe, Double Z, Zachariah. Throwing, it, going, or throwing grenades further is always nice. Uh, extremely prepped for battle, as you can tell. Let's see. So from Canada, Zoe Zachariah grew up on a farm in what used to be called the province of Manitoba. That's right next to Saskatchewan, where I'm from. Used to be, because once the aliens set up the Advent Coalition, the vast plains of Canada were no longer des designated for human habitation. Zoe's parents, however, weren't having any of it. And despite all the warnings and admonitions to move to a city on either the east or west coast, they stubbornly remained. Farming was difficult in the best of times, but without fossil fuels, it was downright backbreaking. For her part, Zoe had to wake up at 6... Sorry. 6 a.m. every morning to feed the livestock and shovel shit. Didn't matter if there was a plague of mosquitoes in the summer or darkness and minus 40 degree weather in the winter. When 6 a.m. came, it was always feed the livestock and shovel shit. Once the morning chores were done, next came mom's warm breakfast and a trip to school to learn about the world. The real world. Not that advent propaganda. Zoe also learned to shoot a BB gun at age six. Rodents of all types were after their family's feed and grain, and the cats didn't always have the appetite needed to stop them all. Over the years, she came to be a pretty good shot, at least as far as the local settlements were concerned. And maybe this lit simple living is all the life Zoe would ever have known. But Advent finally lost patience with Zoe's obstinate community and sent in troops. Her farm, her school, her village, her family, all destroyed. With nothing left to go back home to, she joined XCOM for the only thing left that gives her life meaning, revenge. You'll see her on the Avenger bright and early every morning at 6 a.m. for her next mission, ready to shovel some shit. <laughs> That's actually really good. That's really cool. Uh, I'm very curious to see what your next level armors are. Okay, yeah, I, okay. I see. You're becoming a bit more of a traditional soldier protection wise we'll try and keep you alive till then that would be great okay we have a lot of other things happening right now uh rescuing XCOM personnel proving ground in seven days alloy integration in nine debris in nine i have to imagine that we are going to see the chosen right away Ooh, increasing region income could be good we're infiltrating here now, on this mission, I don't know if this counts as being generated yet. So maybe the Chosen would be there, maybe not. But we weren't planning on that when we built it. That said, this is what we have now. So what do we want to do next? I should, I should make contact for sure. This will get us access to the black site, which we could maybe do sooner rather than later before it gets out of control. There's a soldier here. Um, but this one is to get an engineer, so yeah, we're gonna have to be a bit mindful of that. Proving ground in six. I wonder if I should finish that or if I should start making contact. When's our next supply drop? 17 days? As long as I make contact before the 17 days, we could get a nice little boost here. So this would be six to eight, six to eight, so 12 to 16. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Setting course for Sector 10, Eastern United States. Now, I've got 12 people ready. Six are on a covert action. Is there anything here we want to do? I imagine these hunt the chosen chains. These infiltrations. I don't know if these are actually, I don't know if these are hard coded to spawn chosen or not. Um, but this could be kind of cool to figure out. Maybe I should do this after we get at least a squad size upgrade. Here we could use a sergeant. And we can negate capture, reducing avatar progress. Promotion here without any potential downsides. Could give it to any of these people. 
Obviously, Reactor would benefit the most just because he's got the highest already. Like, getting up to a couple of lieutenants could be cool. Pool Mother's very close. Thing is, how many field medics do I have right now? Bumblebee's infiltrating. So if we put him away, that's our only other field medic. Excavation speeds is an option. I want to say I should do this. Which sergeant would I send, though? <laughs> Again, all, all really good options, but this is a very long infiltration, too. Very long infiltration. I have another sapper back in four days. Four days here as well. Hmm. His aim's already really high. I mean, Reactor's aim could be improved. I just don't know if I want to keep him out for this long. We could negate capture. Uh, maybe he can keep the arc thrower. He does have the skill. I hope I didn't screw up his look there. Should be good. Um... Let's just look at this for a second. Something with like... A, I think combat engineers might make pretty good potential ambush uh, people. Defensive mine, free action, incinerator to burn, um, the rockets to hit groups. Might be okay. We could put Takeout in there. He's already pretty tired. We're at Minor for Ambush, Trivial for Capture. I think we would just put this in here to lock that down. And you know what? I will take a Med Kit here. Because you never know. And then this gives us tankiness too. So yeah, maybe these guys are, are good for this. 17 days. Ugh. But it does reduce Avatar Project... And I think we should just try and mitigate that right now while we don't have a lot of contact made. Let's see if I regret that. <laughs> well, hey, there we go. I mean, we're already over halfway. That's, that's insane. Acquiring a facility lead now. Ooh. Okay. Moderate ambush chance. We'd have to do this and then an infiltration. The only other way to get a facility lead right now would be to um, would be to buy one from the black market. So this already takes us down to low chance, minor. Just curious. That's probably as low as that gets. Um... Mikami's on a covert action. Takeout's on covert action. Hmm. This is really long. Maybe what we do here is bring, like, one of these guys.
I think we'll go with a cannon for some of that area suppression. Thought off shotgun still has a bunch of damage there. Have our front kind of tank. We can build up her health too. It's a while, but I think it would be worth it. I think a facility lead would be worth it. That's a big that's a big time investment though, but that's where we're at. Um I'm considering what we should be doing supplies wise. So I have 164 supplies, okay? So we can negate infiltration um penalties here a little bit. So we can negate the penalty from one extra soldier. And then that would take us to 64 supplies left. If I wanted to go to my living quarters and upgrade this, then I'm going to I'm going to be a little bit short. I could probably go black market to get us uh, both of those upgrades just to give us a little bit of breathing room. Uh, I won't be able to hire any additional rookies, but that would give us just that little bit of extra that we might need five days here yeah let me head here for a second let's go black market and see what we can potentially sell we have a bunch of lost corpses now we only have 12 meld but it's not something i'm i'm working with yet anyway very interested in alloys i'm gonna sell some trooper corpses we have a lot i'll sell some of these I'm tempted to sell a core, but I don't think that I will. Officer corpses can go. I mean, that puts me at 209. So maybe... Maybe we just do that now. I'll at least do the living quarters upgrade. And I'll hold this other batch of supplies in case I need to get anything more uh, imminent. But before we do another infiltration, we will buy that squad size upgrade. Okay. Back down here. Eastern United States. So crew is up to 40. We're at force level 4 now. Alright. Squad can assault now or over infiltrate. So let's see what we're looking at. Presence is presumed for the hunter. Uh, we're trying to rescue this engineer. Extract VIP from Abbott City and avoid security robots. So the squad that we have for this might not be the best in dealing with the Chosen. He's uh, immune to melee, for one. We have a mag grenade there, med kit, frag grenade... Acid grenade, frag grenade, smoke grenade. Um, the hollow targeters have been changed, actually. So there was an update to the proficiency classes. And the hollow targeters now apply for two turns. So in theory, you could hollow target and then have that persist into the following turn. Uh, you couldn't do that before. Yeah, this is one option we could try and do is over infiltrate. We can only get to a maximum of uh, 150 here. So maybe it's worth us doing that. Over infiltrator will modify the chance of a chosen interve intervention. The hidden base chance is lowest if a chosen was encountered recently. Thing is, we haven't encountered the chosen for a long time, so we're probably going to face him anyways. But I wonder if I should just do the additional five days for any type of benefits because we didn't. We didn't plan for potential hunter, really. Mind you, at one point we were talking about the Templar. Well, maybe we maybe we did consider it. I don't know. I think I'm gonna over infiltrate. New assault mission. Okay, hold up. So this is the second event to counter stiletto rounds. Uh yeah, so the first one was the rescue that we just did. 
I'm not super concerned about it, to be honest. I'm not super concerned about it. Alloy padding, we have the hidden one, but none of these have popped as a way to counter them just yet. Uh, nine ready, one tired, three wounded, six on covert action, six on infiltrations. I wonder if I can pull that off. <laughs> These guys are back in literally hours. And then my infiltration's at 107. It's going to cap at 150 anyway. So maybe I will take this. We have alloy integration in six days. I don't know if we'll have another uh, assault mission before the new month. We might. Tough to say. If we can get that proving ground up, maybe... I can get enough supplies scraped together to buy a spark. This does expire in four days as well if I wanted to wait. You know what? Let me let me wait a bit here until those two soldiers come back. Right there. So now I only have one wounded. Who is that? Two hours on Odin. I'm going to wait for that to finish as well. Okay, so Odin's back. Now, I'm going to remove Mertler Karosh here. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm going to remove Joseph. And Joseph can go... Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. I'm removing negative traits. No, no, no. We're not going to do that. Let's put you here to speed up that proving ground time. That's at four days now. And then where are we at here? 121. Let's see what the bonus is. Plus three mobility. Okay, so lightning strike. Yeah. I don't know that's as necessary. With this one, like, I think that's a nice to have, but not as crucial because we can take our time while we're concealed. So I think this is where, this is where the rubber meets the road. And what we'll do is, um, I think we'll take this. Very likely the hunter is there, man. Very likely. Which is a bit concerning, but we gotta do what we gotta do. So yeah, we'll take this one, try and get this engineer, and then we'll look to the uh, transmitter sabotage that goes in 44 hours. We'll probably do that one right after. And might as well counter stiletto rounds if we're able. We might have people available from this mission too, so that gives us a lot more options. Um, but we do have 12 people ready right now, so maybe I can afford to send a couple out here. Um, 13 AP is an easy grab. This is a full infiltration. Let's do this. So, do we have a phalanx? We do. Where's our other one? <laughs> One's tired and one is infiltrating. Okay. All right. So here's what I'm going to do then. I'm going to do the infiltration. And then we'll look at, at bringing pink point into here to try and get this buff to the dodge. And go for the ability points after that. I totally won't forget any of that. Guys, wish me luck. Bit of a shorter one today. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed nonetheless. And... 
I got to explain a couple new things. We got to do this, the first stats segment of the campaign. We'll do those every 10 episodes or so. And very soon we'll have the uh, Sky Ranger design finalized. Looking forward to it. That'll probably happen, I'm going to guess, mission or episode after next. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the support. And I hope you have a good one. Bye for now.